Welcome everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Lordran to some very interesting pot physics. Uh, we're just gonna ignore that, listen. And we're also gonna ignore the suicidal rats, so it's just a kind of strange start to this, but welcome back. Uh, last episode we made it to Sen's Fortress. I am wearing very sexy armor. I mean, this set is just fashion extreme, especially them pants. Crop top. Yeah. All kitted out. But anyways, um... Today we're gonna try to progress. <laughs> Holy shit. Already the weirdness is starting. We're gonna try progressing. And, oh shit, seriously? First of all, this guy is doing his little performance. But seriously, you put a pick here? And it's a fast pick too. Okay, well. It's not might not be as easy as initially thought. That's like an unfortunate piece of enemy placement. That rant really has like a terrible time. Apparently it's not dying. Maybe it just cannot take fall damage. Yeah, that is a very unfortunate enemy placement. One thing I've for sure noticed is these different like sped up enemies seem to be like for sure increasing. Like most of the enemies have this mechanic now, which the only unfortunate thing is that this mechanic is not my favorite thing in this mod. Okay, I'm just gonna come down here. I was just about to say that hopefully it's too stupid to... Okay, you know what? If it stays there, it didn't stay there. It's all good for me. But even if it did stay there, I was like perfectly okay with that. There we go. Other than that, barring any armored pigs blocking our way, this should still be easy money as I said earlier. I mean, look at the damage like average enemies are dealing. So unless these fools like push me off a ledge or something, I... or that happens. Fuck, I hate that. I hate that the back of the boulder has a hitbox, like it's spiked up or something. Um, I don't trust myself. I'd rather be careful. Yeah. And this weapon isn't even the best. And there's way more powerful weapons here. So anyways, yeah, I've been playing this mod for a while now. We talked about this in the previous episode and honestly, it comes with my full recommendations. Raypong magic. The thing is that Maybe the reason I didn't enjoy Daughters of Ash is that it screwed too much with the story. I Not even the story, but just kind of the general... It's difficult to describe. It made Dark Souls feel like it was a classic RPG, you know, like a Skyrim or a Witcher or something, with how elaborate it was. I think part of the reason why Dark Souls is good is the simplicity. When it comes to the story, you know, and with Daughters of Ash, I did not mind the change in progression as much. The fact that you needed to go through areas a little bit differently, that's that's all good. That's not even a thing. 
And maybe I think why I like this mod a lot is that it kind of strips back the game to its bare elements, which is like a super hipsterish way of putting things, but like you get what I mean, right? Okay. So that's a guaranteed spawn, I guess, that enemy. You know, like, the reason why this mod is good is if you just want to play some Dark Souls, you know, fire it up and play it, go through a couple of levels, which is exactly what, oh, that's really good. Vitality 2. That's super good. That's really part of why roguelikes in general are good, i.e. like Binding of Isaac with the, should I risk this? the pick up and play nature of it you know and that makes dark soul oh fuck okay hold on this this might not this might not be that bad the like Telling distance is going to be fucking horrible. I definitely need to kill this thing first. Yeah, just peace out. I think this is the standard... No, no, it's the Fire Sage. I was going to say... If it has the explosions, that's going to suck. What the f- Oh yeah, the, it, it can do that, can't it? I completely forgot that Gaping Dragon can fly. Listen, Gaping Dragon is kind of doing its own thing. Or Tari's Charco. That's Gaping Dragon's Russian cousin. I just came down from Moscow it's all good this might you know the only thing that's happening now is that I can't switch off my brain because honestly sometimes when I get like a really powerful build I tend to kind of just switch off my brain but here I can't really do that. That's the only difference, really. And that this guy has quite a lot of HP. He's gonna do his little shuffle. No, he's not. Ugh, I wish he wasn't like f sped up. Oh, if he does that fucking acid attack, that's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Yeah, that's, it's impossible to get a hit in on the head. Um, this is why the abyss sucks. Especially that these guys are red phantom enemies. So it's like even more difficult to like decide what the fuck is going on. This guy might actually be fairly difficult. So he has a lot of HP. I'm trying to bait him to do the head slam attack. Go go with two hits. And probably do three. I'm trying to get rid of the tail. Man, I 
don't even remember half of these attacks. I didn't know it had a freak out like that. Wonderful. Try to tell that this thing is going to land on you. Mr. Russian Gaping Dragon. Can you not actually cut the tail off? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I need I need to be I need to be careful. Cuz I just ran out of healing items and he still has a lot of HP left. Slam down? Yes. Be very careful. Couple of more sequences should be good enough. It looks like he is not like programmed to do the acid attack, which is very, very good because that would be mad annoying. One more, one more, go for it. Shit, I missed him. Oh, come on, seriously, get that booty. Cool. Super dramatic death. By Russian Gaping Dragon. It was an honor. And that reward was hella not worth it. I got a fucking shield out of it, that's it. Not even a good one. And a humanity. All right, then. I need to use my last homeward bone. I'm too lazy to walk back. <laughs> uh, well. I was expecting something... a little bit more... like dramatic, you know. Dramatic in that... I wanted something better for a reward, but randomized, randomized, randomized. You might fight the bloat in the Binding of Isaac and get a fucking HP up out of it. It's just the nature of the roguelike genre. Speaking of the roguelike genre, you know, something I did yesterday, I was bored. I'm not bored, but I had some administrative time. Believe me, I administer my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's almost a full-time job. I'm only kidding. Uh, I went back and looked through some of my old videos. And honestly, I unlisted a bunch of stuff. Mainly, uh, don't worry, don't worry, like... Nothing major was... This is a problem. This is a big problem. Where's the fucking boulder? Seriously? It's gonna come out right here now. No, it's not. Interesting. Really strange. Okay, sorry, I, I got my thought interrupted a little bit there. What I was going to say is, yeah, I do administer my YouTube channel. I went back and unlisted some old videos. I like really, really old stuff. Uh, like my very, very first like shitty videos, which weren't like guitar covers, but playthroughs where I was like recording with some horrible... What was that PC recording software before OBS? No, it wasn't Bandicam. I don't remember, but I was like recording with the free trial version of that with the watermark and everything. Yeah, you know, just things that I'm not like, I guess, proud of. I look through those and I, I honestly a lot of unfinished playthroughs, you know, like 
and man have I played a lot of shit throughout the years most of which did not work aside from Souls and Mortal Kombat you know early on I was trying to trying to go for the clout before you know I was like not really aware of how YouTube works uh, so I thought that the way to get famous is to try to be early for every single playthrough and get games out early you know because that's how big youtubers grew um, because the let's play genre was pretty big and the faster you got out like three four episodes of a game the better shape you were in you know like people like the rad brad and all that of course what i didn't know is that it's impossible for people to compete against those YouTubers because they got sent games and I could only go to GameStop the next day and buy it. So the kind of level of playing field, the level playing field was just not there. Um, but whatever, you know, I found my niche, not my niche, my niche. Okay, I'm only kidding. I don't know what's more annoying, people who say niche or people who get upset by people who say niche. Of course, you know, if I could go back now with a time machine I definitely get on the streaming hype train early that's the shit what was it what was Twitch's prede predecessor called Justin TV hello Wither interesting can you fall off please Oh shit. Fucking guided missile as well. How ridiculous is that? What? 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 I hate this guy. This guy sucks. It's an anime ass fucking It's an anime ass jump. Oh no. Listen, I recognize the danger of this area. Cool. Listen, my defenses are high. And that's the thing that makes things a little bit easier. Cool. I'm like getting real shit in terms of rewards. Um Yeah, I'm just just not getting good stuff. I don't know why. Of course we would get blight down. At this stage, it should be okay. What what were we in? On level 5, I think. Yeah, at this point, it should be okay to have Blight down. I was looking here for some reason, like, there's gonna be no reward. Cool. So we gotta find a way to, not way, a place to put our bonfire. The question is, are we gonna have a boss where Quelag is? 
Or do we have to go all the way back up? Either way, it should be okay. I want to get... Okay, then. Be like that. I'm going to try putting it in the... Mm. You know where. Where it normally is. I found out recently watching a video. It's an older one. Older meme, but it checks out. There's a dude and he set the enemy randomizer mod to make every single enemy Gwen. Which, if that doesn't prove that the Souls community is on some Fifty Shades of Grey shit, I don't know what does. And in that video, it's really interesting. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Maybe I'll link it on my Discord, which <clears throat> is always in my description. If you haven't joined the Mr. Sketchhead community, I urge you to. It's not called the Mr. Sketchhead community. I just came up with that right here on the spot. But... He was going through the swamp area, and like literally every single enemy is Gwen. Interestingly, these mosquitoes are not actually infinitely spawning, which I I didn't even know. Okay, so these guys do have kind of a, a, a run out time after a while they stop spawning now of course the question is does that apply to this mod and I'm not sure but still interesting I, I always thought that these guys were infinitely spawning it just makes sense you know but I guess they're not I'm just gonna see it I have a shit ton of endurance whether I can nah still not at that chad level oh what hello now this is more like it because I was just about to say that how many times do I use my shield very very infrequently colossal titanite piece what I like the sound of that. Armor upgrade material. Niche can be used for extreme armor reinforcement. Man does, believe me. Extreme armor reinforcement sounds very tasty. Is that fully in the swamp? He is, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Alright then. What an idiot. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do some extreme armor reinforcement of this chest piece. It already like pretty much minimizes every point of damage I'm taking. And then what I'm also going to do is clear out this fool's inventory. Reinforce armor, you cannot. Oh, you need to, you probably need to upgrade it first, right? Yeah, most likely. Oh, come on. Still, I achieved what I wanted. If you can't tell, I'm just like overpowering myself as much as I can. I've got poise as well. A hella good weapon. We got this in the bag. 
Okay, I'm gonna go and look at the Quelag area because I'm pretty sure that a boss should spawn there in theory. But it, it might not be the case. You might just have to like go up. Which then I wonder if you can go up this way through the elevator. Because that's something I've actually not tried so far. There must be like a way to get out there. And hopefully it's not like uh, something you need a key for. Actually, I do have keys because as we discovered, they do not go away. So even if we need a key, we, we should be A-OK. -okay. But I'm pretty sure there should be a boss here. Just in case I'm going to get rid of my... Well, first of all... Oh fuck, Anademos. Well, Welp. We're gonna be here a while. This guy has a lot of HP. He's straight up just sin. with some weird fucking mechanics. Like, he's slow fast as well. Did you see him pivot? Some Dark Souls 2 style tracking. Interestingly, this is actually making him easier than normal sin. Yeah, he's way, actually, he's way easier. He just has a lot of HP. He's a bit beefy, this boy, but it ain't nothing. It's a decent sized arena as well. I can imagine, like, there's no way this guy could spawn in, like, I don't know. The catacombs or something, right? That would just be the ultimate dick move. God, this guy sucks. He's like having trouble, like real problems hitting me. Eat shit, bitch. What up? Get on my level, sin. Interesting death animation. Nice thud. 8,000 souls. Black Knight Razor. This video is sponsored by... Sponsor, God, I can't even talk. I ruined my own joke. Sponsored by Harry's or Dollar Shave Club. Oh, we can peace out of here. I'm gonna do it. I don't even give a shit about going upstairs. And all that noise... And we are actually perfect in terms of timing. I'm gonna find like a nice bonk fireplace. The question here is where would you go? And I mean, where would you go as in is the boss going to be where Seath's first encounter is, or do we go straight to the garden? There are many mysteries here. First mystery is why the fuck there are no enemies here. Which I don't mind too much, because I can just put my bonfire here. And then I can overpower myself cool souls for moats let's get two decks one strength and 
as many vitalities as I can because at this point I'm just going for vitality. All right, so I'm going to use these and as I use these, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Binding of Lordran. Um, again, it's safe to say that we got this in the bag. Huh, not kindled. Ain't no problem. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see this area. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.